So you have learned the theory about projectiles, 2D motion. Now we're going to look at a simple example. So this question is from May, June 11, paper 2.2. Only part C. We have a stone thrown with horizontal velocity of 20 meters per second. So this horizontal velocity means this is half a projectile. Okay, so your projectile is supposed to be like this, a parabola. Oops, touch chat already, but you know. But we're only dealing with half, okay? Only half of it. So that's why here there's only, there's a horizontal component. Air resistance is negligible. Okay, sure. Calculate the time to fall 15 meters to the ground. So whenever you have all this information, okay, I generally highly recommend you stuva. Okay, just have your stuva set up first. Maybe you can have an X component and a Y component here. Okay. And we are looking for time t. All right. What is set in place is a n negative g because gravity will be pointing downwards. And I'm taking this down direction as negative. Okay. So right now, what do I know? 15 meters. Here is where I start and here is where I stop. If I'm taking downward as, pause, as negative, then here to here, is negative 15 meter. Teacher, shouldn't your displacement, or your displacement, shouldn't it be like that? Uh, yeah, if it's 2D. But remember, I split into X and Y, my friends. So if I split into X and Y, the displacement also got X and Y. So here to here is your displacement in the X direction. And here to here, down here would be the displacement in the y direction. So I'm going to put sy here. And if I want to, I'll put sx here. Okay, so the two red dots is the initial and the final. All right, so far so good. Now the 20 meter per second horizontal velocity is here. Okay, 20 meter per second. Is there any vertical initial velocity? No. Is there any vertical final? Maybe, I don't know. But currently, there is empty. So to find t, I will use an equation with no v. Okay, And I will only use the y component. You don't take something from the x and then champo and put inside the y. Okay? It's very common that there's a mix up. If you don't list down or separate them, at least in your brain, Okay, this velocity is horizontal, that velocity is vertical, so on and so forth. Because right now, what I will do is I will use an equation without v e but for the y component. So equation with no v would be s is ut plus half a t square. I just remind myself that this is for the y component. So for the y component, the initial speed is zero because when you fall off the cliff, you only have horizontal velocity. That's right. Come. And then this is negative g or negative 9.81. What is the time? Uh? We are looking for time square okay and then the displacement is negative 15. notice that if you don't use the same sign okay then you will get a negative t square which means you cannot factorize i mean you cannot square root lah. okay so if i press my calculator get one square root answer i'll get 1.748 so i guess 1.75 second or you can write 1.7 seconds to you Okay, so when you stuva, just make sure you remember that they are separate. Uh. Please don't put 20 meter per second here. I write big, big for you. 20 meter per second is X component. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Great. Next, calculate the magnitude of the resultant velocity after falling 15 meter. Okay, let's look at this uh, ball. After falling 15 meter, if I draw a vector component to represent the velocity, the vector component would be maybe something like this. Okay, so you have your horizontal velocity, which is the same. This 20 meter per second, by the time you reach here, it's still 20 meter per second. Remember, because horizontal no change, 20 meter per second. What will change? Vertical. So if I draw the ball at different, different places, maybe I draw in two more places to show you. 
here is 20, here is 20, there is 20. Everybody is 20, 20, okay? Meter per second. But the vertical component will be again to accelerate longer, 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 Vy. So right now, we are trying to find Vy. We have to find Vy, and then after that, we can combine them together. All right. So once we find Vy, we can use Pythagoras theorem to bring them together so that I can get V. All right, let me list it down. My vector was like this. This is V. And then I have Vx, which stayed as 20. And then I will have Vy, which I need to find now. Okay. So to find Vy, since I already have T, I can use any equation that I want. Okay. So I could use V equals to U plus AT. Or if you're feeling paranoid about your T value, you can use the equation with no t. And then you won't be using your t value. Okay, la, I use the equation. V squared plus u squared plus... Two, uh, v squared is u squared plus 2as. This is for the y component. Announce your component for your own brain. Okay. So your vy is what you want to find. Your u was 0, remember? Horizontal velocity. 2, negative 9.81. And then you will fall through a distance of 15 meters, negative 15. So from here, you can find your V, 2 times 9.81 times 15. Negative and negative cancel off law. So we square root this and you will get 17.15. I guess I will put 17.2 or just 17 meters per second now, because this is 20. Ma. All right. So if you use V is U plus AT, you should get a close enough answer okay so right now i'm going to put this one inside here vy is 17 meter per second so hence the resultant velocity hence resultant v is equal to pythagoras or remember because i can bring this green arrow over and square this this green arrow can fit here okay so I can take 17 square plus 20 square and then I square root the whole thing. Okay, so straight Pythagoras triangles. Okay, so if I square root this, I'll get 26.2. All right. So if you find uh, the y component, vy, you will get one mark. Use Pythagoras to combine with 20, vx, you get one mark. Final answer is one mark. So show substitution is one mark for the first one. Final answer is the other mark. So make sure you show the substitution. You don't want to declare the equation can, but it will be very hard for you to troubleshoot your answer. So learn to declare the equation. And sometimes they do give marks for the right equation. Sometimes. Not all the time. All right, let's move on to part three. Time for some description. Describe the difference ooh, difference between the displacement of the stone and the distance that it travels. So this one is just testing whether you understand the differences between distance and displacement. So I guess uh, I would say here that the distance is the total parabolic Okay, once again, a reminder, uh, I will prove parabola in a different bonus video, but it's not inside your syllabus. Okay, so distance is the total parabolic length or parabolic part. That the part traveled by the stone, whereas displacement is the closest distance. between the initial point or between the point when the stone is launched off the cliffs, leaves the cliff to landing on the ground. 
Okay, so if you think about your uh, cliff this way, okay, your ball, bloop, fall like this, ma, correct? So the blue color arrow, this is initial, this is final. The blue color arrow here, or rather maybe you draw a different color. This arrow here, this is distance. All right, what about displacement? Displacement would be the straight line connecting here to here. Teacher, do we need to find displacement? Well, there are some past year questions that will ask you to find, but it shouldn't be a problem, but right? Because you know that this is 15. Or rather 15 downwards. And I'm pretty sure you can find this distance using Stuva. Yeah. Stuva. Just Stuva, the X component. Use the values of X component. Alright. So that's a simple calculation question for parabola. Not complicated, just make sure if you use Y, you use Y alone. Nah. Don't involve X. Yeah. But if you want to find uh the distance travel, it'll be the parabolic length, and then the displacement will be the closest distance from I to F. Okay. So this last part before I end the question, I will find the displacement for you. Lah. Okay. So I'm gonna find S SX or the range. So I will use the equation with no V. So I will use Sx is equal to ut plus half at squared. All right. So your u, where is u? u, u, u. Ah, u is 20. Because this one I'm going to use for the x component. So 20 times, I have the time, 1.75. So I think this is 35 meters. So here to here is 35 meter. I think you know what to do to find the displacement. Pythagoras 15 and 35. All right. Okay, that's it for this video. Organize your variables. Choose your equation. Solve the question. Get the marks. Learn the physics. I will see you in more complicated videos. Bye.